Here the kit is uh, from the top view. Um, you can see that it opens up by using the side zip system. And again, this is made by Burton. They make snowboarding stuff. And you can see that it opens up and we have a really good look of the contents at this point. And it has two different content compartments, a right and a left. So we'll look at what I carry in this compartment first. Um, some of the brushes that you should have, uh, we'll start with just a couple of basics before we look at the contents here of uh, things you should always carry. This is called a paddle brush. And the, uh, the paddle brush, there we go, uh, is um, used for great stuff. It's great for detangling wigs. I mean, this wig here is, is quite tangled, and you can see that you can use the paddle brush on it to detangle it very, very quickly. You can get very, very soft uh, control of it without breaking a lot of the hairs. Of course, you would normally hold the hair at its base, but you can see that how, how well the paddle brush works here. Uh, so that's great for detangling jobs, so that's your paddle brush. The next thing that we want to make sure that we carry here is a, uh, this is a German uh, silicon comb. This is a tail comb, and I use German silicon because it's uh, capable of um, uh, doing really, really fine parts in the hair. You can really break down clumps of hair and do some fine parting work. And I'm just getting the angle of the three-dimensionality of shooting this from above, so bear with me. But you can see that you can do some fabulous uh, kind of angle work here by separating the hair and using the tail. And having this tail made of silicon, it moves through the hair very, very quickly, much better than your standard uh, drugstore style of uh, cheap uh, tail comb like this. Uh, the third uh, type of uh, comb that you're going to need in your collection is called a teasing pick. Uh, this is a teasing comb. It is used for back combing the hair and you can see that it's set up in that way and it has a regular very, very fine brush on the other end over here. Uh, and then finally, last in our installment is the wig pick and the wig pick is used to untangle and detangle clumps of hair, uh, whether it be a model or a wig. This is called a wig pick. And uh, the wig pick just works by working through the hair like this, again, uh, using this kind of stroking motion at this point. All right, so that's sort of the basics that we carry. We also carry some other brushes and things which will appear uh, as we discuss them. You can see that this case continues to give us compartment choices if we wanted to subdivide. I open this up, it's got a nice mesh container, and inside it we see our ceramic uh, or a curling iron kit. This is the Isinus uh, ceramic kit. This just plugs into a wall and it's got these great little uh, curling, uh, curling irons that are ceramic as the name suggests. And uh, they are just great for uh, doing speed sets. And you can probably do a couple of drills at a time with a kit this size and it just plugs in. Uh, then we have our uh, little uh, circular brush that we use uh, for blow drying and creating little flips and updos in the hair. Uh, we have some other brushes in this kit. I, I store these uh, in this kind of way. And um, you can see that if I open the kit, uh, I've already shown you some of my brushes. This is an Isinus brush. You always have to have one of these. This is your basic. It's called an Isinus brush. You always need this for basic styling. And uh, then you have a metal tail comb brush. The metal tail comb is really good when you're using things like a, a flat iron. You can wrap the hair around this, spray a little product on it, uh, use a flat iron on top of it and get some really precise curls. So you always need at least one metal tail comb brush. And then these are for doing speed sets. They're great little devices that kind of uh, open up like this. You, you wrap the hair inside. You kind of loop the hair through this. You spin it around and then you just leave it there and you can, uh, you can spray some hold or you can pop some pins into it. So these are really great for doing kind of speed styling and speed sets. And the last thing I'll show you again, uh, I have a second type here of a teasing comb. Um, I showed you the first type. I think they're actually both the same. Goodness me, I've got two of them. Well, it's nice to have two. I just wanted to make sure we did show you the teasing comb. And I've, I've separated all these by these little bags, which I get through the, um, oh gosh, I get them from New York City, the powder group. The powder group sells uh, bags very much like this. Let's see what else we have in here. The next thing is we have our products kit. And you see the kind of products that you should have with you on a shoot. I'll show you a couple of basics. Uh, first of all, we have the uh, uh, Paul Mitchell 
uh, high style. This is called a firm style freeze and shine super spray by Paul Mitchell. This has no alcohol in it and it's great for doing really high hold when you want to lock hair in place. And then this contains alcohol, but it's even more powerful. This is bedhead uh, hardhead. And bedhead hardhead, you see, it comes in these big canisters. And this is a great spray when you don't care whether you're using alcohol in the hair or not. Um, the other kinds of products that I tend to carry in this setup, uh, as you can see, I've got some spike. And this is, uh, this is uh, a product produced by, uh, this is called Ice Hair. It's made by Joico. This is a water-resistant styling glue. This is for doing mohawk type things where you really need uh, to create texture in a look. Um, then we have here some uh, bio silk, silk therapy, and uh, this bio silk uh, stuff is great for dealing with frizzes. It's kind of an oil. I've got this uh, from a salon that specializes mostly in working uh, with black women, and uh, this is what, exactly what they use to control frizziness in hair in summer, etc. Again, it's bio silk, silk therapy. Very important to have. Everybody gets frizzies. Doesn't matter who you are. Uh, and then we have the Reflections. This is a polisher made by Jerry Redding Professional. And this polisher uh, is um, really great stuff. What it does is it's, uh, it's silicon. It's alcohol free and it will separate hair. So if you're working with different sections of hair, you need to section uh, hair into maybe 20 different sections and do different things with them, then something really, really nice like this, like a, a finisher or a polisher, is going to be just fantastic to have because it separates the hair and makes the brush glide through it. And finally, we have here a little molding uh, clay. This is made by Nolita, but there are so many different companies. But this is a molding clay. And this, again, is for producing very specific textured looks in the hair. And finally, I, I never go anywhere without a little shampoo in a separate bottle. So you can see the kind of products that you should own. Uh, if that went by a little quickly, just rewind the video. Um, the next thing we'll show uh, is our clips. We've got all kinds of different clips. Um, and there will be several cases of clips that one will encounter in my kit. Uh, clips of all different sizes. These uh, Kiko clips here are like alligator clips. They're really nice for quick section hold. And then for longer section hold or for wider sections of hair, we've got these kind of alligator clips. And a whole bunch of scrunchies and goody elastics. And, uh, <clears throat> and then in this uh, container, there's more ways to hold hair in place. And we can see that we have uh, all kinds of, uh, of great stuff in here. These are black uh, pins and uh, uh, brown colored pins. We have both types. And then we have all kinds of other kinds of clips and, and even some little hair accessories and doodads if we have an unexpected playful look that we need to do. So that's this half of the kit alongside uh, this Joico. Uh, this is a styling, this is a medium styling spray. This is, so I've got a high hold uh, and then I've got a low hold medium style, depending on how flexible we want the hair. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at the other side of the kit. Thanks.